Well, what's good everybody it's your boy jazzy as we game back again with another youtube video and today i'm going to show you guys how to do the dash attack but better all right so first thing you're going to do find uh in the previous video we went and you know declared all these helpers and you might not see them here let me see if i can bring it back up if you've seen the other video you would know what i'm talking about but for those that don't know you know this code right here along with this code is uh usually used to create the dash you know and uh, teleport uh, behind the character and so uh that that you would usually just copy and paste this code wherever you know you want you want the a, a character to have a dash attack at and make modifications and you're good to go and this is more of an outdated version and it causes a lot more it, it costs a lot more to do you know and it puts more stress on the character i believe so instead of doing that right you're going to leave this code alone so don't don't touch any of this code what you're going to do is take this code and just delete it okay just just take it out and what you're going to do is replace the code with a teleport explow and uh, usually in Mugen, you would use X files for any type of animations. And so you wouldn't necessarily create a helper unless you plan to use that helper throughout the entirety of the code, I believe. And so, but usually, you know, you would just use an X file. It's, it's a lot easier and a lot smoother. You know, they, they handle animations a lot better than helpers. And so you would go through, uh, delete that. And then what you would do is take your x file in this case this character already had one so you know you can just look search for teleport or something and just copy and paste it over but this character already had one so all i did was bring it over and just replace all the previous um helpers with with the x files and then you would also go through and delete anything that has to do with this so you would just delete this outright essentially so let me go through real quick and make sure yeah so you see that right there just take that out all right delete that and then what you would do so that should be good that should be good yeah so now if i were to go through it should it should do the prove the exact same result but you will see that the animation flows a lot better Get ready, fight. so power up transform and boom as you can see it, it, it's subtle it's very subtle it's a subtle things now this character in general you know his was a little different if i were to copy over the raikage's real quick boom and so if you're if you want to copy over from another character you know to uh, copy teleport from another character all you would do is go through copy and paste that code and replace these numbers with the number uh, of that of the animation that's on this character so for this character the animation for the dash or teleport is this right so you would go through and replace all these numbers make sure that the uh, um, angle is set to 90 I know it's a little red because that's uh, because we're using a uh, Mugen 1.0 and Mugen uh, 1.1 uh, supports angles. It will still do it in Mugen 1.0, so you know don't don't necessarily worry about that. But make sure it is rotated 90 degrees, so you kind of have that uh, so it's done horizontally. You know, because if not, it will come out looking like this, and it won't look good. So uh, unless that's something you're going for, go go ahead. But if you're not going for that, make sure that it's angled 90 degrees. And so essentially you will take that code, copy and paste it over. Let me stop this real quick. Come back over here. Close that. Oh, meerkats. And then you will run it again and you will see that it will come out slightly bigger or, you know, however the previous code had it. Boom. See, a little, 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 little bigger, you know, a lot smoother. You know, I would say than uh, than the previously when it had the helper, the, I would, the expiled just handles animations a lot better or special effects a lot better so yeah that's essentially how you do it but now if, if you noticed let me go back real quick like that if you were to look at this you will notice something that's a little strange you see the aura here now the aura is gone some of you might run to this problem all right 
you copied over the code you deleted everything that had to deal with the helper and you're like oh we're good to go well the thing is when one thing you have to double check for is when you delete that you have to ensure that the anywhere else in the code that was using that helper you have to ensure that that code is deleted so and not the entire code i'm gonna show you guys uh in a second but if you delete the helper anywhere else that's using a helper is going to throw an error okay it's going to throw a problem as you can see it doesn't know what's going on uh so what you're going to do is go to the helper i think that said 563 i believe 563 yep then enhancement aura go down here so all of this right you see all this right here um, you would essentially just delete this so go over here behind the multiplication sign and go all the way up to variable 16 uh, for variable 16 and delete it that's it that's all you have to do now I'm gonna show you guys a, uh, a shortcut I guess you can say you see I already have it searched right here if you have this code right here you can just search for it right you you so what you would do for those that don't know how to search in fighter factory studio 3 you hover over the code and then you press Control f and it would just search right uh what you can do is just go over here and hit replace that's it that's all you do the goal is to delete this code and it would be a drag to go through and delete all the code throughout the entire you know throughout the entire thing because you have to you have to do it everywhere you know uh here i have to replace this give me one second let me come over here get this get this and now one thing you can do you can still so this for example this probably will probably still work all right Th this will probably still work now that you've taken this out but you might run into some issues because you know this helpers is used to using this helper so uh you know you can try it out i'm not sure if you'll run to you know any big errors because the state defined down here is still being used so let me see right so this right here is still being used so it it, it, it definitely is it can definitely still work uh but the, with using the x file it would just be more cost efficient i believe and it would just be a you know better way to do it and so you would just go through and replace all of these is this another one yep it is replace all of these with an the x file search so yeah replace this replace this and that's it and if you're not you know if you're not using it anywhere else then you know you don't have to worry about this but if you are and you uh have helper 99999 or with a variable 16 or whatever or just helper 999 search for it replace it with a space it'll delete it and so now if we were to go through since it doesn't exist anymore and we got rid of all the code that, that was using it if we go through and use the ability now power up boom there we go it's fixed and if you go to the debug it doesn't work anymore uh, usually in the past the debug would try you know the helpers would show up down here and it would be you will see both the helpers in the AI and in the CNS file but they, they, they don't exist anymore so that's one less thing the computer has to worry about and as you can see it works perfectly fine so yeah that's it that is how you would make the adjustments and you know just a, a simpler to me it's a simpler way because before you know trying to go through and add the helper and i mean the copy and paste and code was easy you know you just copy and paste all the code and you would just paste it and you know it's good to go so for some of you the old tutorial might still work you know it still might be effective it still might work for you if that works for you go ahead but i just know that this version based on how it's explained to me it will it will make the help the character flow a lot smoother and it will be it'll, um, it will cost a lot less so the character won't be as big you know when you export it or put it to a file or compress it or whatever it won't be as big because it's, it's a x file and not a whole helper and x files again are better at using uh animations or dealing with special effects and animations so um anything uh fx is what it's called not animations i keep saying animations uh fx anything dealing with that usually x files are the key things for that and yeah that's it man so if you guys enjoyed the video man please comment like or share down below and or and uh 
<laughs> excuse me and let me know let me know if you guys want to see any more tutorials i'm really trying to step up my tutorial game man you know this this the tutorials are have been doing very well so far so i really want to kind of get my game back up in that so if you guys want to see anything related to auto dodge you know or anything don't don't tell me how to make a whole character okay <laughs> don't tell me how to how do you make a whole character don't don't ask me how to i don't how to make a whole character from scratch all right i'm letting you know right now i do not know how to do that i don't know anything about sprite animations you know i don't know any how to create them like i'm still learning that stuff uh so don't you know don't ask me about that i will try my best to you know figure things out you know for you guys and if something comes up that you know i'm like hey, i want to learn this too i will definitely go through and try to learn it myself but you know unless it's something very specific you know Please, please don't come up <laughs> with, with outlandish requests but if, if it's something specific that you guys want to learn that you guys are curious about uh just just let me know man i will be here to help you guys out so that's going to conclude the video guys i'm gonna holler at y'all later peace we are out of here